Hello, it's Marco Matos here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to be showing you the chaos add-on of explosions. <laughs> so this is created by Light Architect, and what I'm going to do is just going to give you a really quick overview of how simple it is to make blowing up things. Now, if you want to pick up this add-on, there is a link in the description, and if you can, just hit the like button. Just bam, 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 bam. So I've already installed it. I'm going to press N to bring up the side panel. Let's click on chaos. Up the top here, we've got the different type of simulations we want. So for instance, I just want, mm, let's go dynamic smoke and fire. Here we've got the options to add debris. So what do we want to be exploding with the flames as well? So I might just go something nice and simple. Let's go metal shards, why not? And then down here, we've got the options of setting what type of burst is gonna be. So if I could delete that default cube and I select direct burst, and then we press play, you can kind of see that's the direction it went flying. Let's just select everything, delete. Omnidirectional is obviously, it goes everywhere. There we go. 3D60 ground burst, obviously it's gonna explode from the ground. Beautiful, it's just so simple and it just works. But obviously as you can see, we don't have any collision boxes. However, that's already sorted. If I scroll down to the bottom, I can add a collision plane. <laughs> And then we go, we've already set up now collision planes with all the required physics here, the fluid setup, collision type, so on and so forth. You little ripper, collisions on, it's perfect. It just gets stuff done. And the real cool thing is, is that I added it at the start of frame one. So my timeline was down here. Let's just select everything. I'm gonna delete it. And now if I were to go, I want my explosion to happen around frame 50. I put the timeline down the bottom here till 50. Let's do a directional burst, and then we'll come all the way down to the bottom. Let's add in a plane, G to the Z, scroll up. I'm gonna reposition our domain. So obviously this is where all the smoke and fire is gonna come out of. Boop. There we go. As well, I'm gonna come back into our emitter because what I actually should have done is added some more um, particles to emit just to make it look a little bit thicker. So let's click on back into the particle simulator at the moment, we've only got 100. I'm gonna go for maybe 500 just to increase the amount of explosion that comes out. And what I'm gonna do first is go into the cache. Let's just go bake all dynamics. Everything's now baked, you little beauty. From here, let's select our domain. And just like Mantaflow, because it is Mantaflow under the hood, let's increase the subdivisions up to maybe 256 just to give it a little bit more quality. Let's go bake data. And so now we've rendered the first 100 frames. So if I go back to the start and press play. That does look pretty schmick. Now, obviously, you can see it's hitting the... Oh, it's not hitting the edge of the bounding box. Oh, that's looking pretty. So what I'm going to quickly do is just go back to maybe to where we just launched it. So maybe about here. Let's add in the camera. Control A camera let's put it into a position let's go just from here jump over into cycles because we know cycles always looks a little bit prettier quite a bit prettier actually and let's just press f12 and that right there looks absolutely la gorgeous let's render it out those 50 60 frames and we'll check out the animation and it's absolutely amazing how quick we got some sick results so the chaos add-on, there is a link in the description. If you can, please make sure you like the video, leave a comment as well. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button.